Hey everybody, thank you. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. And I am back. But guess what? So today I was actually thinking, what am I going to go ahead and do? What kind of a video is this going to be about? Well, it's going to be another story time. I am going to tell you about, have you ever, ever lived in a home that's haunted? Like, scary haunted? I've got lipstick on my hand again. That's the only bad thing about red lipstick, okay? You want to, like, take the ends out, like, the clean it off or whatever, and there it is on your hand. Um, so, have you ever lived in a haunted house? So, I'm going to tell you a couple of stories. It's like, oh my gosh, since I was a little girl, like, we would, we, we, we were always exposed to places like that. It was like, dad, like, why do you take us to live in haunted towns? So, if you're familiar with Texas, my very first experiences were like in this little town called Valentine, Texas. And uh, oh my gosh, that little town, if you ever do your research, it's a ghost town, literally a ghost town where nobody lives there, like very few people. I'm like talking about maybe there's like, I don't know, like 40 something kids in the school. I, I, I don't even know how much, how many kids go to school there right now. And, um, but anyways, um, I, we used to live there and all the houses are made like of adobe. It's like mud. Um, it's a kind of mud or clay and, and the really old houses and it's, it's not a nice place <laughs> to live. You know, it's not like, ta like being in, in a town. It's literally out in the outskirts, like where there's nothing. It's literally like a desert and literally there's nothing okay so we lived there when i was about four or five years old and a couple of my family members lived up there too and so we uh all experienced things there so obviously it wasn't us it was you know things that were going on over there at that place um but one of the things i do remember we lived in several houses at that little town in that little town um, and one of the experiences that I got we, at one point was that I lived, we lived, my mom and my dad, it was just my mom and dad and my sister and I, and we lived in a, a mobile home, like a trailer house. It was just a single wide. And, um, at this time, my dad was a musician, so he would play on the weekends. Uh, he would work during the week and then on the weekends he would play at the local, you know, areas where were they at parties or whatever. And so he was usually never with us on the weekends. So my mom and my sister and I, we were in her room and all of a sudden, like you could hear like, let me, let me use this highlighter to, um, kind of like illustrate what we would hear. So like we were all laying down, we would leave the, the, um, the light from the kitchen on and it would, it, you could see it on the side of the, of the, uh, under the, under the door from the room, you could see the light and um from the kitchen so anyways you could see a shadow coming and you could you would hear like from the tip of the of the mobile home it was a i believe it was a it was a three bedroom so from the far end you could you would hear this like like and then like you would hear something like slide like this like and then you would hear and then like something was like tapping and then like a cane or like something i don't know and then dragging like that and then it would just do that all the way till it got to the to where we were sleeping it was like literally from one point of the house all the way to where we were sleeping well we weren't sleeping we were like shitless we were shit scared like it was like my heart was pounding and i'm sure my mom's was too because she was the only one protecting us at the time because we were with her and um we'd be like so pressed into her like this because we were so scared and um the weird thing is that we could see the shadow under the door and then as soon as it was it would get to the door we were like just waiting for someone to open the door and uh as soon as that would happen it was there at the door it would just be standing there and then it would move and it would do the same thing like you would hear this noise like like that and all the way back it was just so so creepy and scary and um yeah i remember it so vividly um and then my sister had some experiences as well uh on her like on her own like she saw something in the closet uh 
doing something like he was making some hand signs or something and and um but one of the other ones that was very very extremely vivid to me was um uh we lived um in another house and um was because there was a lot of them it, it's we, we lived in this other house and um that one was creepier that one was like uh, and that explains the history of the place so i'll get into the history as soon as possible so i was laying down and uh, back in the day my uh my uh sister and i we would sleep on the couch and there was uh, that house had these huge windows and then the couch was like against them so uh, the curtains and those the curtains were behind the couch like so the light would come in and we were the, the couch was against the, the curtains and then there was another window like in front of me like towards the towards the, um like in front of me there was a, another window like towards me in the front and then um the kitchen was to the, towards the back of me but more to the north side and then there was a hall and my parents room was in there and um so i remember um i was asleep and uh, all of a sudden i wake up and i know this is gonna be it's gonna sound crazy it's gonna sound so so crazy but literally we my sister and i woke up at the same time and we saw the same thing and there was like a train going right over us we were laying on a couch and this train thing was like going right over us and it was so vivid like we were under a train a train track and then uh it didn't stop there we turned and we saw um well i, I remember very vividly that i'm the one that saw this part which were soldiers and they were like still standing um on their um what it, i want to say their uh their duty they were still on their duty whatever they had to be doing i guess guarding or i don't know but i could see their uniforms um their uniforms were on them i could see them vividly because the light from the kitchen was on we always had the, the kitchen lights on and i could see their uniforms from head to toe and literally i could see like the, even their eyes and i could see ones just staring right at me and i was like so so scared my heart was pounding it was crazy and um that's why I felt like I was always so scared to be by myself because sometimes parents don't believe you and I would tell my mom and my mom did believe us because she would see things too but my dad never believed us like he would be like no you guys are just dreaming or you're just seeing you're just imagining that that's not real that's not even true like that what that doesn't happen y'all need to um pray to God and then before you go to bed pray to God and I, I'm totally in accordance in agreement with that too but I do feel that some parents are like completely closed-minded about it like they don't believe in that and it, i don't think it's a thing about believing because a five-year-old doesn't know the difference between believing and what's true or what's not um but then um as i started growing up uh, i started realizing that a lot of people were actually having uh paranormal paranormal activity in that in their homes in that town um but like i said as i was growing up um i realized that that town um had a bit of a history which was where the confederate soldiers had um, fought with the indians and therefore a lot of them were buried in like i'm assuming just you know thrown into um pits or whatever not pits but like these big pole um like there wasn't an actual um burial for them a proper burial and they were just thrown there and i guess their souls are still you know going they're still on the properties and i'm assuming that that's why they're still going into people's homes and they think that they're still on their post and um i mean if anybody knows about those kind of things if they want to go check out that town it's called valentine texas and uh it has a history of um um the postage stamps for Valentine's Day, um, that's where they like to send them so they can get postage stamped for Valentine's Day because of the town called Valentine. But <clears throat> um, the other part is that it's very, very haunted. And um, that place is kind of close to where the Marfa lights are. Oh, I was going to tell you another thing. Yeah, now that I just remembered about the Marfa lights. So one time 
have you. I was five, five years old at this time. So I, ha I didn't know any better. I didn't even know about ghosts. I didn't know what they, these things were. I didn't know none of that. But I also didn't know about UFOs. A five-year-old does not know about those things. So one time, my mom and I, we were um, sitting down outside. And um, we had a porch. And <clears throat> above the porch was uh, this thing with lights. It was this thing with, lot, with lights back in the 80s. Those things had lights. And, or I don't know, but it, I could tell you what it looked like. It was just hovering around, up above our home. And it was kind of big. And, um, and I told my mom, 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 what is that? And she said, oh, it's a UFO. And I didn't think anything of it. I didn't know what a UFO was. <laughs> I was like a little kid and I didn't forget. So as I started growing up, great, getting older, like in, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth grade and stuff, people would say, oh, a UFO and, and those are not real. And, you know, that people, kids would say that they weren't real and teachers would say they weren't real and back in the day. And I'm talking about in the 80s uh, and in the 80s. Yeah. And so I thought, well, what did I see? Like, that was so weird. My mom saw it, too. So why would she lie to me about a UFO, you know? And my mom said it like it's nothing. Oh, it's just a UFO. And I was like, what the heck? Well, uh, yeah, over in that area, there are UFO sightings, a lot of them. And so I don't know how natural it was for my mom, but it was just something normal to me too because I had I didn't know the difference. So my mom told me, oh, it's a dog. I was probably going to believe it, right? Um, but um, yeah, that's what happened. So the town is called Valentine, Texas. And you know what? I've tried looking like in books. I've tried looking um, online if anybody else has had word experiences in Valentine, Texas. Well, nobody. There's nobody that will tell you anything about it. But the people that actually live there will tell you tons of stories. And um, another thing that happened to me there was that I would always, I was very sneaky. And I would always get up and get some raw honey. I would always get a, a spoon. You know, it was a tablespoon. I would get a tablespoon of raw honey and I would eat it. But I would wait till my parents were asleep. I was sneaky. I would wait for them to go to sleep. <clears throat> and my sister would be awake. And I would just go and get my honey. I would eat it. And I wouldn't go, go to bed until after I finished eating my honey. So, um... <clears throat> What happened was that in the kitchen, there was a window and on the other side was a curtain because on the other side, there was an, a room attached, it was just like a, a, an attached room to the house. So that window was, um, face the window that, uh, had the curtain on the other side. Okay. So nobody was in that room at the time. But when I was eating my honey, I was there, you know, la, 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 whatever. And then I was eating my honey and I turn and I look at the window. And instead of seeing my reflection, I saw somebody else's reflection looking right at me. I, was, I freaking threw my spoon and I ran. <laughs> and the next day I told my mom, mom, there was a lady here. It was a lady. It was some lady. And uh, it was creepy. And I'll still get like chills when I remember those things. But that town was something else. Seriously. And, um, yeah, so time passes and a few years ago, I, I was working at a place at a rehab and one of the patients told me that they were coming from out there and I go, Hey, have you ever been to Valentine, Texas? And he was like, yeah, I've been there. I, I, I actually have been there. And I said, Oh, okay. So what do you think about, what do you think about, um, uh, paranormal act activities and because when I used to live there, I would actually, I was a little girl, but I would see soldiers there, like ghostly soldiers. And he's like, oh my gosh, are you serious? Like, we saw that too. My son and me saw that too. And nobody believes us. And I'm like, are you serious? And he was like, yes, nobody believes us. And then she called her son. Hey, son, look, she used to live over there. and She had the same sightings. And I was like down like thank god i wasn't going nuts when i was five years old <laughs> but he actually confirmed it mm -hmm. so i was like wow like my dad always thought we were just like you know 
venting or just making it up or I don't know what he thought but um, when this man I mean you can't make stuff like that up like I feel like if um, if you saw like literally military uniformed people and they were actually wearing the uniforms and I had I was five years old there's no way I was gonna know what a military uniform even looked like especially from those days um, and then I see years later my son starts going to school he's like in first grade and he comes home with a Texas history book and I open the book and it literally opens up right on one of those pages where one of the soldiers was wearing exactly the um, the uh uniform that those soldiers were wearing and it's like what i literally got a chill like from my head to my toe and i my jaw dropped i was like oh my gosh and i'm actually getting a chill right now because i i remembered that but yeah if you guys have a chance and and you travel and you have a chance going by valentine texas and you want to like experiment or see whatever um that's a little town that's very haunted like and it's not something that I would like to, but it's very haunted. And I know there's some very adventurous people and they like to, uh, to ghost hunt, go there and see what you find, <laughs> but you'll probably find a lot of Indians and a lot of soldiers because that's where they were at. That place was like, um, cemetery for soldiers and a lot of people died there. So, yeah. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my story, about my, about my, uh, haunted, um, a, a haunted uh, experience at Valentine, Texas, and keep I'll keep you posted with some more from my grandma's house and some other ones that we've had too. It was they're crazy. So get your chips and your sodas ready, and y'all have a wonderful one. Okay.